One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. Follow the assignment exactly. Part 3, Salvation. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, King James Version. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus blessed us with the words, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Luke chapter 6, verse 46. Many over the centuries, including now, call Jesus Lord, but they really want to determine how to behave themselves. Effectively, this takes Jesus off the throne of our hearts and replaces him with ourselves. We cannot be his subjects and he our Lord if we are ignoring what he says for us to do because of our opinions, traditional teachings, or because we do not agree with something he requires us to do. We must realize that defying Jesus is defying the Father God in heaven. This is because he was sent by the Father with the Father's message to mankind. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 3, John chapter 12 verse 49, Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. So this is why Jesus says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So it is imperative that we learn what we must do directly from Jesus to be saved and discard any teachings on salvation contrary to what he taught us on salvation. Let's do it. Jesus said the following about salvation. I said, therefore, unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. John chapter eight, verse 24. As you can see. Faith in him being the son of God, our Lord and Savior, is part of his plan of salvation for us. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. This means we must turn from our sinful ways to a life of righteousness to be saved. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32 and 33. As you can see, confession of Jesus being the Son of God with our mouths is necessary for salvation. Without it, we will be denied on the judgment day. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and verse number 10. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. Of course, Jesus is speaking of being baptized in water as he and all of his followers had done in the Bible. Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, Acts chapter number 2. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. As you can see, we must show faithfulness. This means loyalty to Jesus all of our days. This is done by staying committed to what Jesus commanded in living the Christian lifestyle of obedience and continuing to believe in him as the son of God. In conclusion, we see in this series of messages, starting with part one, that obedience is necessary for salvation. Even Moses had to miss the promised land of Canaan because of his missing one detail by striking the rock and not speaking to it as instructed by God. Do you have to miss our greater blessing of heaven because someone has taught an altered plan of salvation that cannot save? Absolutely not. Contact your local Church of Christ congregation and tell them you have believed in the true gospel from the true source, Jesus himself, and they will take your confession and baptize you for the salvation of your soul. Follow the truth and not fables of men. This series is concluded. God bless you. Thanks for listening.
This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ. 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901. www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.